hello guys and welcome to a new video today I'm doing a monster high mini me and I'm hoping to make this a little series of me repeat because I love it so let's get started so as you can see I'm putting down like most people by putting down my pens and just trying to get the right shape. It actually took me about three, three to four times, but I kind of want this to be at least somewhat good. And of course, I struggled a lot with the camera part because I'm not used to doing this in front of a camera, but I hope to get better. This doll is supposed to be very like pastel pink and I wanted to have her in many like red shades and pink shades so her whole aesthetic is like pink. <laughs> That's why I'm making her like fiery red eyes and as you can see under I've already rerouted her hair in yarn. As a base, I'm using Citadel colors uh, in ceramic white to get the white part of her eyes. So I'm using it basically right after I put in the first layer of the eye, so I can build everything up from there, and so that the white doesn't like stick out when I do other colors because it always build up together because this is basically the only white layer I use if that makes sense I try to make the mouth smaller by giving her an open mouth by bringing in some white inside the mouth area uh, I could have sanded it or anything but I um, I don't really know where my <laughs> where my rotator tool is so I skipped that <laughs> I think this is the best camera stand for me to show it. It's just very hard to like put on all the colors and still have my hand like tilted. So I'm really sorry that my hand is in the way in most of these shots. So I'm almost done with the face up and to be honest I'm not the best happiest with it but I'm gonna put on some lashes later and I hope that will fix the look and yeah let's go to the body. 
so I already went ahead and cut off the legs to make her shorter because I'm pretty short myself and I'm gonna build up her with using epoxy sculpt and then I'm gonna cover it with pink as her regular skin tone. Personal recommendation, don't need to part epoxy scalp with your hands, it's not good, I don't know what I was thinking, I'm stupid, don't do as I do, please. I'm so sorry guys for having some photos that is out of frame. I had a really hard time with the legs, so I actually ended up doing them off camera. Because I'm a plus size girl, I really wanted this doll also to be more plus size and it was really hard to build her up and still keep all the motorics in her uh, and I will definitely try other alternatives for next time. Like using Ever After High dolls or maybe skip the motoric part because I I don't really play with these dolls, I just post them usually.
so here she is right before sanding as you can see I build her up kind of loosely just to make her a bit thicker but mainly she just looks pregnant in my eyes but yeah let's get to sanding After sanding, I'm actually mixing two Citadel colors, like their pink and white, to try to get the perfect pink for her body. And I only show one layer, but it took me about t over 10 layers to get it this pink that you see. So the hair. I actually went on before I did this video and did rerouted her whole head with yarn and like brushed it out. I also tried to style it in a lot of different ways, like with bobby pins and with metal chopstick and stuff like that. But I just feel like the hair was too thick to actually do anything with it. So I will probably thin it out in the future. So if we go back to the doll's body, I was really intrigued to find out if some clothes still fitted her so I took some out and tried them on and surprise some of them fit happily enough <laughs> So after trying out some different clothes, I'm gonna go ahead and pick out, a, pick out an outfit for her and I'll be back with the finished result. So here she is in all her glory. This has been such a roller coaster of a video. It's been really educating for me to see what I can do and seeing also how I can involve in this. And I really want to continue doing this mini series of customizing different dolls. So thank you so much guys for watching. Maybe my next customization will be these old dolls that I created for my friends. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye!